All right. Now, let me read my commentary on this second experience. The disciples now received manifest supernatural power. Let's emphasize those words. It was manifest. Everybody knew it had happened. It wasn't just an inward experience. It was supernatural. And it was power. They received boldness to witness, which they hadn't had before. They'd been born again, but they had no boldness in their witness. They received insight into Scripture. In the, ne in the next few minutes, G uh, Peter, without any concordance, without any notes, stood up and said, this is that which the prophet Joel prophesied. He couldn't have said that an hour earlier. He wouldn't have had any insight. Instantly, the Scriptures became alive to them in a new way. And thirdly, they were released to their apostolic mission. Peter never talked about going fishing after Pentecost. And finally, all Jerusalem felt the impact. Within a few hours, everybody in Jerusalem knew that something unusual had taken place. Now, when they were born again, it didn't get around. But when they were baptized in the Holy Spirit, it got around. How many of you know from experience? It doesn't stay hidden for long. <laughs> and somehow it stirs things up. Have you ever noticed that? Somebody asked my friend Bob Mumford, what's the evidence of the baptism? He replied, trouble. <laughs> now, let's look at this little summation at the bottom here. Uh, I just want to put the two Sundays side by side. On the left-hand side, Resurrection Sunday. On the right-hand side, Pentecost Sunday. And you notice there are three differences. That exclamation mark down there in my original outline was up here, but I never, never mind about that. That's okay. Um, resurrection Sunday, the resurrected Christ. Pentecost Sunday, the ascended, glorified Christ. Resurrection Sunday, the in, uh, it should be in-breathed spirit, not in-breathed Christ. Just correct that if you've been writing. In-breathed spirit. Pentecost Sunday, the outpoured spirit. Resurrection Sunday, the result, life. Pentecost Sunday, the result, power. Now, neither contradicts the other. It isn't a question of either or. Both are God's purpose for all of his people. But the fact that you've had the Resurrection Sunday experience doesn't mean that you don't need the Pentecost Sunday experience. Does that clear to you? See? So the Baptist who says, I got it when I was saved, he's right. But he didn't get it all. In fact, <laughs> I don't think most of us have got it all, to tell you the truth. I think there's a lot more for most of us to get. But I hope that makes it clear. To me, when I saw that and put those two Sundays side by side, I no longer had any problems. Who has received the Holy Spirit? Who hasn't received the Holy Spirit? Every born-again child of God through rebirth has received the Holy Spirit as life. But every born-again child of God, according to the New Testament, needs to be baptized in the Holy Spirit and receive the supernatural power for witness. They don't conflict. They fit together perfectly. Fanu, would you be kind enough to turn the sheet over and let's see what we've got there. 